Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Ali Ye and today I have some new Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer gameplay for you guys. Yesterday I posted some live multiplayer gameplay so make sure you're not missing out on that. I'll link it on screen and in the description for you guys. I've just come back from Eurogamer, an event here in the UK and I was lucky enough to get another chance to record more multiplayer footage for you guys so as you can see by the title and what's on screen now. I decided to focus on the shotgun because I knew that there was barely any shotgun gameplay from Ghost on the internet and I thought you know what? let's get that for you guys because that would be something cool that a lot of you probably haven't seen already and on top of that we're playing a new mode called blitz where there are two points a point for our team to aim for which we jump into we'll get our team of points and then teleport us back to our spawn and then another point which the enemy are trying to do the exact same to so it's both a balancing of being aggressive and defensive and it's also on one of the new maps called chasm so a lot of new stuff going on within this video so i'm using a shotgun i'm using the class that's on the screen now i go for some of the high streaks the class i'm using here here is the MTS 255 shotgun, no attachments, with a pistol, the canister bomb as a lethal, um, the motion sensor as a tactical, and then the perks I've got going on here uh, is fast reload, uh, lightweight essentially so I can run quicker, the ability for me to throw my lethal and tactical further, the ability for me to reload while I'm running, and then finally when I kill an enemy they will not have a skull death symbol appear on the enemy teammates screens so they don't know when the person I've killed is dead for the enemy teammates. So a uh, cool perk selection there, cool loadout, uh, but without further ado let's jump into some gameplay then afterwards I'm going to come back and break down everything for you guys. If you enjoy it give it a thumbs up and without further ado let's jump into it. SATCOM spotted. SATCOM. I'm spotted. Satcom ready. 
Friendly SATCOM active. Enemy SATCOM spotted. So there we go guys, a look at one of the shotguns within Call of Duty Ghosts. First of all, I want to know from you guys within the comments what you think of the shotguns from what you've just seen. Uh, within this little sort of breakdown and re-look at what you've just watched, I'm going to give my opinion uh, because of course I was playing this as I recorded it so I know what it feels like as a weapon. Now, um, within this game and within the build so far of Call of Duty Ghosts, the perk Quick Draw isn't available. So uh, anyone using an assault rifle or submachine gun, for them to aim down sights, it takes a little bit of time. So the fact that you can run up to someone and use a shotgun and shoot them without having to zoom in and kill them in possibly one or two bursts we're using the shotgun means this weapon's very very powerful up close and i found it to be very very effective not many people at all were using the shotgun at the event um but once you try to use this against people that were using other weapons it was very very effective only up close though now this the the range on this shotgun did drop off very very quickly and if you weren't right in the face of the enemy then of course it's a shotgun it's going to be completely useless so you've got to be very very tactical tactical in terms of how you approach um, the actual enemy team and running at the enemy uh, because you do want to be very very aggressive you want to be sticking towards tight corridors and tight places where you may run straight into enemies that's probably the best situation you can have because you, all you need to do is react by hitting the uh, the shoot button once or twice and you're going to drop them a lot quicker than even if they're using a submachine gun and they're shooting from the hip. Um, so I like it. it. It's a shotgun and it does its job well. Uh, a shotgun should kill very quickly up close and it shouldn't be very effective at mid to long range at all which is how this weapon works. Now Within the first streak that you've just seen, I was using the Assault Streaks, the SATCOM, the Attack Dog, and the Juggernaut Maniac. And that's what I've just earned using the shotgun. I don't think I've seen anyone else uh, actually earn the Juggernaut Maniac using the shotgun so far. So I thought it would be something that's very cool for you guys to see in action. The Juggernaut Maniac does actually have a throwing knife. You see me attempt to use it in a second. I've only ever actually got one kill with a throwing knife with a Juggernaut Maniac so far and I wasn't recording when I got it. Um, but it is a cool addition to a Juggernaut Maniac. It means that you can get people uh, that are a little bit further away and out of knifing distance, which is very awesome as well. Now, one thing to note is that as we go into the next clip here, uh, as you, I'm using the shotgun, it only has five rounds before you have to reload. The great thing about this weapon is that once you do reload, it's going to put a full five rounds back into the weapon, which is very, very useful indeed. And mixing that with the fast reload perk meant that reloading wasn't too much of an issue at all. It did it pretty quickly, in fact. But you did have to be very aware that if you were running at two, three or more enemies, it was going to be tough to take them out. Now, that example there of me literally running straight into someone was perfect very easy kill for myself but as I said taking on multiple enemies with this weapon you need to be um very tactical about the way you go about it you need to be trying to picking off people one by one that's probably going to be the easiest way to do it and um, you will see in the next clip here me take out two people but literally only just i have to jump to get the second person so i fired twice on the first guy which is a perfect number of uh, bursts to kill and then just managed to fire the other three into the second guy to earn myself a dog so this weapon is fun that's that's the main point i think shotguns are fun anyway within call of duty um, if you guys don't normally use shotguns and perhaps you're getting a little bit bored of Black Ops 2, then that's always something you guys can do. Um, but I think shotguns within Call of Duty Ghosts would definitely be a viable weapon to use as I defend the B flag here. And the B flag is a good spot to be sticking around on any map really because the B flag tends to be a very close quarters area of the map. And having something like a shotgun to defend the point is very effective indeed as you can see me clearing off a few people there. And uh, someone was trying to troll me in the back with a riot shield, but I was having none of it <laughs> as I pulled out the shotgun and shot him in the side. Uh, so in a situation like this where... Uh, all of the lines of sights have on the enemies are long. Um, I want to be careful. Luckily, this guy came around the side and ran straight into me. Um, but if you are in a situation where you've only got long lines of sights, you want to be trying to be very sneaky, sticking to the edges of the map. And the final kill I get here, I managed to fit myself underneath the uh, bus there. Wasn't sure if I could do it or not, but I could fit, and a guy ran straight past me. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you have. I've also got some more sniping gameplay that I'll be bringing you guys very, very soon. The more likely 
likes we get on this video, then uh, I'll start working on the sniping gameplay as soon as possible. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Really hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on my next video.